Welcome back to another week here at Durham Grammar School. Um, let's go and find out what's been happening in our school this week. <laughs> On Tuesday, I attended the area committee for, for Butin Cowell along with my colleague Louise Nicol, head teacher over at Rossi Joint Campus. I gave my annual report to the elected members and yet again they were extremely impressed um, and supportive of um, all the support, all the work that is taking place in Durham Grammar School. And I just want to thank all the elected members for Cowell for their continued support. On Tuesday, a number of our young people from our health and beauty department visited Ashgrove to, um, I suppose, entertain some of the elderly people um, in the, the care home. On Wednesday, I also attended the Cowell Clusterhead teacher meeting where we had the opportunity to share um, a number of things that are going on across our cluster. Um, we also agreed to revisit the cluster vision and to look at what our pri priorities are going to be for, for next session as a cluster. So it was a really beneficial meeting um, and I look forward to, to working with my cluster colleagues again over the next session. On Wednesday, we also, also issued out our S4 to S6 tracking report. So again, please make sure you get a copy of that report, particularly our, our S4s for Monday, where next Monday there is a, a parents' evening. So make sure you've had a, a look over that. On Wednesday in, in Durham Grammar School, we held our Subway Challenge um, final, where our S3 business management pupils took part um, in designing a new filling for a sub. Um, Steve, from the, the franchise manager from um, the Durun store, came along as part of the, the judging team and I want to thank him very much for his support and his kind generosity to our, our young people. 14 teams presented at the final and although, although there was a winner, all 14 will be given the opportunity of going forward to the, the national final. I also want to thank um, Miss Moody for stepping in and um, judging the, the final and again just to thank our business and computing staff for all the work and efforts that they put in to deliver yet another great event for our school. On Thursday our head boy and head girl um, attended the open meeting for the Durin project, a really innovative um, idea for our local community. Ronan and Lauren spoke at the event and talked about the views of the young people which they had gathered through house time um, last week. So um, hopefully um, something as, as good as this Durham project idea is going to take place but um, the young people hopefully were going to drive that forward. So thanks to Lauren and Ronan for going along and sharing that. On Thursday, our art and design department um, held a preview of their art exhibition of pupil work. The exhibition is going to be open on Monday the 10th and Monday the 17th for parents between 6 and 8 if they wish, and the community if they wish to come in and see it. We also have pieces being exhibited in the Borough Hall Cafe, so please do come along and support the, the young people. The talent um, of the young people's work is unbelievable, so please come along and um, show your support to our talented artists. On Thursday, our Maths and Science Department also arranged a trip to Hunt Hunterston Power Station for our S4 pupils and it had a real focus of STEM. Um, pupils really enjoyed the trip and so did the staff, so thank you to, to Mr McNeilidge, Miss Boyce and Mr Priest for arranging that. And on Friday, we held a Costa Rica fundraiser for um, the, the future Costa Rica trip. It was a bingo evening in the forum and well done to Anna Doherty for arranging that. On Wednesday, we held during Grammar School's final of the Subway Challenge, which involved our S3 business department classes, our business management classes, um, and it was a great event. We have Steve here, who is the franchisee of the, the local Subway store, who is one of our judges. Um, Steve, can you just give us a little bit of information about what the Subway Challenge is all about? Yep, sure. The Subway Challenge is... Uh has schools throughout the west of Scotland designing their own subway uh, and in, uh, today there was 14 teams that, uh, are, that were making subways and that were uh, showing a marketing uh, plan so it was uh, it was very interesting and all teams I was amazed really that all 14 teams all came up with different ideas. And, and what did you think of the ideas? Were, were they subs that you would put into your store? The subs uh, were all usable subs, they were all products that they had tried out, they'd come down to the subway and they had made, but uh, the marketing amazed me from the point of view that they had different ideas, whether they were using social media or uh, ideas of using local radio or national radio. Um, some ideas that maybe have to be fine-tuned, but in general their, their ideas were great. And do you think any of our young people that were there today have got a career in your industry or in marketing? 
Well, marketing's a is a is a is a great career to to pick. I'm not sure about the industry of uh, and retail as well. To be fair, retail is good, but uh, they'll they'll all be welcome at some point in the lives to come down and, and uh, have a have a student job down working in Subway and we look forward to some of the, the pupils from uh, Dunoon coming coming to, to work in, in Subway at some point in time. Good, good. And uh, I just want to thank you for your generosity today because I know you brought up platters for all the young people um, of subs and um, cookies. Um, um, so I just want to say a big massive thank you on behalf of, of all the pupils on that. Um, so thank you very much. No problem. We also have our winning team here um, who um, presented really well. Um, what was your name of your team? Uh, Fitness Fresh. And what does that mean? Um, it's a sub for people after the gym and muscle recovery. Okay. And what ingredients did you have in your sub? Um, we had nine grain wheat bread, turkey, lettuce, cucumber, tomatoes and peppers. Good. And did you actually make the subway up? Yeah, Amy went down to the shop and uh, made up the sub. Mm -hmm. um, and how did you find your visit to the, the subway store in Dunoon? I think it went great and I learned a lot about how subways are made and everything about the store. Okay, and how were you going to market your product? Uh, product? Um, for social media was our main one and of course we had our radio ad and yeah. Okay, good. Um, well done, girls. Um, I know that all 14 teams that presented, there's a winner today. However, all 14 will go forward um, to the, the National Subway final and hopefully some will get through to the, the actual final, the national final. Um, and Steve's advice will hopefully help that um, as they move forward over the next um, week as they prepare for that. So thank you very much for joining us. And again, thank you, Steve, for all your generosity and your help and support. Next week um, is our panto. Oh, yes, it is. Um, the panto takes place on Thursday, eh, Tuesday and Wednesday, so please, if you want some tickets, contact the school office, come along. I've seen some rehearsals, it looks really, really good. So come along um, and again, show your support to our talented um, actors. On Monday, we have our S4 Parents Evening also. Um, if you haven't selected an appointment, you can do it electronically by using the parental evening booking system. The link for that is both on our website and on our Facebook page. So please ensure that you have your appointment to speak to your class teachers. It's really important that you speak to them before the end of the term for the prelims that are coming up. It'll give you an indication of what your son or daughter still has to do um, to achieve their potential. Just on that, I would also like to remind all our pupils and um, parents that um, uh, we have a really extensive supported study programme. Um, and I, again, I encourage as many people to attend these sessions as possible. Um, it's really, again, important and imperative that you attend these so that you can get that additional support that you, um, you're required, particularly before the examinations. We're also going to be issuing out a letter next week regarding our first study weekend, which will take place in the first weekend after the um, Christmas break. So um, look out for that. On Monday, we'll be holding a collegiate session for our staff, which will have a focus on uh, interdisciplinary learning and, and just a wee update from how the working group is getting on there. We'll also be having our staff photo, so make sure all the staff get their hair done, ready for that, just a bit like myself, get, um, get that ready for um, the, the staff photograph on Monday evening. And on Wednesday, we'll be holding our second principal teacher development morning, um, again, to discuss where we are as a school, where we are as departments, and to share good practice that's happening across our school because there's masses of it. So I hope you have a fabulous weekend, and again, I'll speak to you next week.